everybody, this is Adam, and we are here at the SDS convention. I'm fortunate to be sitting with uh, Dr. Jeffrey Swanson from Portland. And uh, we had several questions come in for the blog, from the blog post that we just put up. One of them was about mitral valve repair versus mitral valve replacement. And uh, Barbara wrote me a question saying, Adam, I, I'm 51, I'm active, uh, I've seen my surgeon. He said that most likely it can be a mitral valve repair, but he may need to replace the valve. And I want to ask Dr. Dr. Swanson, what, from a surgical perspective, would be the differentiator for having a mitral valve repair being done versus having to have a replacement when you're actually in the operating room? Yeah, well, it's actually a uh, complex question, but um, most often a surgeon should be able to determine pretty well before an operation based on echocardiography and, and um, coronary angiography and other studies that are done prior to surgery about whether he's going to be able to repair a valve or not. Um, and in fact, a lot of it depends on uh, the surgeon's experience uh, and how frequently he does mitral valve repair in his practice, how much experience he has with it. The American Heart Association and the American College of Cardiology actually have guidelines uh, for the management of uh, mitral valve regurgitation, severe and moderately severe mitral valve regurgitation. And uh, they say that uh, a patient should be offered mitral valve repair in a hospital and by a surgeon who can guarantee at least a 90% probability of repairing that mitral valve. So those are two important aspects, the, the hospital where the surgery is performed and the surgeon and his individual experience. So I think any patient who is sitting with their surgeon and um, trying to determine what they're going to, what surgery they're actually going to have, should be able to look their surgeon in the eye and ask him what his experience is with mitral valve repair and what he would guarantee as a probability. Most often nowadays with our preoperative studies, we can we can guarantee probably within a 98 to 99% probability uh, whether we're going to be able to repair a mitral valve or not. There are certain circumstances where a mitral valve probably should not be repaired, but they're pretty unusual. Hmm. Well, I, I never knew the number was that high just by looking at the echocardiogram and the other tests that you performed prior to surgery. Yeah. One other question I have is the, the importance of second opinions. It comes up oftentimes. Is that something you encourage your patients to do? or I, I do encourage patients to... Uh, to have all the information possible prior to um, undergoing a major operation like this. And a second opinion um, is good just in terms of general knowledge. Obviously, your website and all the things that you provide are great for patients in terms of preoperative education. But a patient should feel comfortable that they've uh, chosen the right circumstances for their operation and uh, that uh, they understand what they're about to go through. Great. So uh, thank you, Dr. Swanson, for stopping by. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. And you can learn more about uh, Dr. Jeffrey Swanson at heartvalvesurgeons.com. Talk to you soon.